What is going on guys? I'm not sure of the exact direction um, this video is going to take, but I did want to make a video to talk to you about how you actually heal from IBD because I'm seeing a lot of bullshit on the internet around you know, these different molecules and supplements and these things that, that are going to be pivotal um, on your healing journey, whether it is uh, micronized glutamine, whether it is colostrum, whether it is grass-fed collagen, um, whether it's cabbage juice, vitamin U. Um, there's a whole bunch of crap circulating online about these supplements that are going to be the thing that gets you over your hump. And the fact of the matter is, to heal from IBD, you just don't need that shit. You don't, right? To heal from IBD, you need to do two things. Number one, you need to follow an elimination diet that is devoid of IBD triggers. Number two, you need to reintroduce foods slowly, strategically, and do some tolerance testing as you go. Those are the things that you need to do to heal from IBD, right? Um, that elimination diet could be a carnivore diet, it could be the elemental diet, it could be a high fiber vegan diet, it could be a fruitarian diet. There are lots of different options, lots of different um, examples of elimination diets that work when you are trying to stop your symptoms and heal from IBD, right? Then when you come to reintroducing foods, you do it, you do it strategically, you do it slowly, you choose foods that are, that are easy to digest, you choose foods that are devoid of the common IBD triggers, uh, things like dairy, things like gluten and other lectins. Ultimately, you just choose foods that are easy to process and easy to digest. Um, and then over time, you can add foods that are increasingly difficult to digest as your gut becomes more hardy. Generally speaking, the foods that are more difficult to digest, as long as they're whole foods, are foods um, that contain um, a lot of FODMAPs and things that are just a little bit more difficult on your gut and require more microbial action. Those tend to be the foods um, that are more difficult to digest, but they're also the foods um, that really kind of cement your gains and cement your healing. So you need to do that in a very strategic way. Um, if you feel like you've been trying to do this, if you feel like you've tried following elimination diets and you've tried a bunch of supplements, and you tried reintroducing foods and you still haven't been met with success, um, I'll leave a link uh, for you to contact me above or below this video, but don't be um, conned by a lot of this clickbait shit that you will see on the internet and don't have a supplement regime that comprises between 10 and 15 supplements that you have to take between four and six different times of the day because that's fucking stressful um, and it's not necessary when you're looking to heal from IBD. So I just wanted to jump on here very quickly and say that healing from IBD is not easy. It's really not easy, but it doesn't need to be complicated, right? You don't need to overcomplicate it and um, listen to what all of these digestive health experts are saying about these five to 20 amazing supplements that are going to be pivotal in your healing journey. It's really simple. Elimination diet, um, reintroduce foods. Yes, there are some supplements that can be handy, um, but don't be conned by all this clickbait stuff. So. Uh, that's all it was. Um, please subscribe if you haven't already. Please like the video and I'll see you soon.